Welcome back, my beauties, and welcome. If you're new, my name is Sheena, and today we're going to be using McCart's Mariposa Mayhem Poly Gel Kit, as well, as well as the nail decals. The decals, they come with eight pages of stickers, which are iridescent, super cute. Um, I did also want to get the gel polishes out of the kit and the full decoration kit, but they were sold out at the time. So I am going to just be working with these two items today to let you take a look at the decals here. So the poly gels come with four different colors, Rebirth, Chat Up, Wings, and Morpho. And I'm going to go ahead and pop this open here to show you what comes inside of the kit. So when you pull it out, this is what you see. You have the nail file, which is 100, 180 grit. You have the spatula with your standard excuse me, the brush with your standard spatula on one end and the brush on the other. You get your four poly gels, which is Morpho, Rebirth, Chat Up, and Wings. The base and the top coat. It also comes with a little bit from the decoration kit, so it does come with more stickers if you weren't able to get the decals. Uh, these stickers are super cute, although they're not iridescent. They are really cute still. And then it does come with that one shimmery one that is super cute as well. So there is a little bit of iridescent there. Um, and then also the decoration kit comes with several different butterfly glitters and several different pots of the 3D butterflies. So if you're not able to get the decoration kit like I wasn't, the good thing about this poly gel kit is it does come with a little bit of both. So I still was able to um, get my 3D butterflies that I was so excited to use. And I will be using these in the video today. So cute, so cute. And I will be using these iridescent butterfly glitters as well today. It also comes with these dual forms, which comes in two different styles and uh, a few sizes a piece. So there's a straight dual form and then a curved dual form. I will not be using these because I do not use dual forms. I do prefer the tips. For me, it's just a little more sturdy. I will try to incorporate dual forms in the future just so that you're able to see how they're used. If you're wondering or just want to see me use them, I will use them on a future video, but I normally don't go to dual forms. So I'm starting off with applying base coat to all of the tips that I've already applied off camera. I did do my normal prep of pushing back my cuticles, going around the cuticle with a needle drill bit, the ball bit. Also uh, making sure I rough up the surface of the nail. I used my dehydrator and my protein bond. And then I did apply these Kira Sky long coffin tips. After applying base coat, I did cure in the lamp for 30 seconds. So first things first, on my pinky, I'm going to do a four-way ombre. So I'm going to use all four colors in an ombre. So I'll start with Rebirth at the tip, which is the pink color, just a small bead. And go ahead and pat that into place onto the nail. Um, and then blend it down into the tip a little. Next, after Rebirth, I am going to go in with, uh, excuse me, with Wings, which is the green color. And I will go ahead and blend that up into the pink color. 
The third color I'm going to go in with is Morpho, which is that purple color. And lastly, I'll add in Chat Up. And so with each color that I do add, I make sure to go ahead and blend it into the color on top of it. Um, so I'm just going to let you go ahead and watch the process of my four-way ombre. So what I did notice about this poly gel as I was doing my ombre here is that because they all have such a similar iridescent shimmer to them, it did to me look like one color on the nail. Although we do see me putting four different colors just to me. Um, but in person, I guess, you know, I can tell because obviously I'm looking at the nail and I can see each color. Um, but I think it came out very cute. So basically in between each color that I put down, I did go ahead and uh, cure it in the lamp for 30 seconds. Now with my lamp, I only have to cure for 30 seconds. Sometimes I do still do 60, but I can do 30 because I have an 86 watt lamp. So it's pretty powerful. 30 seconds and everything is fully cured but like I said there are times where I will go ahead and do 60 to be extra sure um, but yeah that's how I did this nail here So next on my ring finger, I do go at the top with Morpho, which is that purple color. And I'm just doing a basic ombre. So I'm going to go ahead and pat that purple into place until I'm satisfied. I will go ahead and cure that. And then at the bottom bead, I'll be placing Chat Up, which is that tan color, and then blending it up into the purple color to make my ombre. I do want to thank everyone that is watching right now. I really appreciate it very much. And it does help if you watch my video all the way till the end. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day, afternoon, evening, or night. So on my middle finger at the top, I'm going to go in with wings. I think this color is absolutely gorgeous. So my favorite color is pink, preferably fuchsia. But I do also have a spot for like teals and olive greens and things of that nature. And this one is kind of tealy to me. Um, so this color was super, super, super pretty to me. Um, and so yeah, I'm just gonna go in at the top blend it till I'm satisfied um, Once I do get that Completely where I want it. I do cure it for in the lamp for 30 seconds And then at the bottom I do the same exact thing I did on the ring finger and I go in at the bottom with chat up and blend that up into uh, wings to make the ombre
If you're with me still, thank you very much. Again, it's very appreciated. So on my index finger, I'm going in at the top with rebirth. Same process. I'm going to pat rebirth into place until I'm satisfied. Cure that for 30 seconds and then go in on the bottom with chat up and blend that up for my ombre on my index finger. Also on my thumb, I did the same exact thing on my pinky. So I used the four colors up into an ombre. Please consider at this point, if you're still with me, to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. If you do subscribe, just make sure to hit the notification bell so you don't miss a set. I will be on a more regular schedule. It's just starting off with this YouTube thing. I'm not sure why, because I'm behind a speaker. You can't really see me, but it's still a little nerve wracking. And I want to make sure that I'm bringing out material that is beginner friendly, um, that everyone will like. And, you know, that may get some kind of interaction from everyone. And it's a little, it's a little nerve wracking starting out. I mean, I know I'm pretty fresh, um, but I just always want to make sure everything goes exactly right. And no one's perfect, but I am looking to, you know, make a success of a YouTube channel in the sense of nails um, because this is something that I've grown to love and I really do uh, take this as an art and I have a lot more in store a lot of different things that I would like to try um, to share with you all um, and just bring good content good easy content that anyone can do at home if they chose to Like I said, I am still very much so a beginner, but I do feel like the more sets I do, the better I get and the more fun I have. Once I do get done applying the uh, poly gel to all the nails and curing, I take a lint free wipe and I do wipe over and under all of the nails to get that sticky inhibition layer off. So now for the fun part, we're going to get to decorating. So I start by putting top coat on all the nails. And with the top coat, I'm going to go ahead and place the iridescent butterflies in that top coat before curing. And the reason why I use top coat is because I learned from another nail YouTuber. I can't remember. Um, I think my girl stay polished 91 actually because I do I watch a lot of different youtubers but she's my all-time favorite so I stay on point with sis and I follow all of sis's advice because it works so well but yeah so you put the top coat and I'm gonna go ahead and put the iridescent butterflies into the top coat I'll go ahead and cure that for 30 seconds and the top coat is really for the nail decals because after I'm done placing the iridescent butterflies where I want I'm gonna stick two of the nail decals on each of my nails so I'll go ahead and just let you watch this process
If you're not following me on Instagram, you can also do that as well. My name on Instagram is Nail Addict She, and there I do post when I'm about to um, have tutorials on my YouTube page. Um, at times, I will post other nail sets that I may do that I may not record at times, um, which is pretty rare, but if so, I'll always post anything nail related there first. So once I do get all of the decals and the glitters where I want them, I'm now going to go ahead and encapsulate all the nails with McCart's Clear Poly Gel. So I'm basically just uh, squeezing the poly gel to the length of the nail. And I'm going to take my brush starting by the cuticle and then pat that poly gel into place until I'm satisfied, which is when everything is covered. So I'm just encapsulating the glitters and the decals so that they don't move and they don't go anywhere. Also, before I did go in with this uh, clear poly gel, I did top coat all the nails so that the glitters and the decals stay in place. When I do put that poly gel on it, it doesn't make anything shift or move. So that alone kind of locks it in place but the clear poly gel pretty much sets over it so that you don't feel any of the glitters or the decals and everything pretty much stays in place and you know everything's secure and nothing's going to fall off. So once I do get them all encapsulated, I do file shape and buff off of camera. If you would like to see my filing routine, if that's something you'd like to see, just leave me a comment and let me know and I'll try to include that within my next video. But I take it out because I feel like, I mean, there is techniques and ways of actually filing your nails, but I still feel like it's pretty self-explanatory i mean not to say anything bad because i like to see filing i'm not gonna lie when i watch my nail youtubers i want to see how they file what their techniques are but everyone doesn't want to see that so i do leave it out so if that's something you'd like to see let me know but here what i just did was i placed two beads of the clear poly gel on either side of my middle finger and I'm placing the 3D butterflies in that poly gel. I'm also going to take my brush and I'm going to uh, mold the poly gel around the bottom of the butterfly. So basically the poly gel is fully covering the bottom of those butterflies. Um, once I do get both my middle and my uh, in, excuse me, ring finger done, with the same process, I do cure them in the lamp, this time for 60 seconds, just to ensure that that poly gel is completely 
uh, dry and that those 3D uh, butterflies are not going anywhere. I then go in and I top coat all of the nails once I do get those set. Lastly, I do go in with my cart's cuticle oil, just placing that around each of my cuticles and rubbing that in. And here's the finished product. I think they came out so super cute. I really love those 3D butterflies. I wish I had the full set so I could have used different colors, but it still came out super cute. Um, I said ombre is my go-to and these nails just came out gorgeous. And here's an outside look of the nails. I think they are absolutely gorgeous. I really enjoyed this set because I love everything butterflies. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share my videos. Hit that post notification bell so you don't miss a set. Thank you so much for watching. Much love.